Hello, well, here I am back in the outback, but it was time for an OMG clip. There's been some things happening around the country this week that have been pretty, pretty disturbing, to say the least. The first is pedophiles in Queensland getting ridiculously lenient sentencing. Well, Campbell Newman's in up there now, so they tell me. Who knows? Maybe things will change. Then you come down to New South Wales and some person of what I would say limited education from within the government decided to waste taxpayers' money to do a, whatever they do, what do you call them, a research as to how we're going to offend multicultural Australia on Anzac Day. Hello, people. Got a tip for you. Our diggers fought to make this country what it is today. I'm not sure if any of them would be real happy, but nonetheless, they fought for our freedoms. Now, if you've had to come to this country to escape war or whatever crisis it is, you have come to this country for a reason, believing it's a good country. Well, it's only a good country because of the diggers that fought to make it that way. Surely you don't think it's because of our governments. So here's the tip. If you want to live in Australia, you're welcome. But respect our ways and respect the men and women of this country that fought to give it the liberties and the freedoms that we have today. And yeah, I guess I say that a little tongue-in-cheek, but that's got nothing to do with the freedoms you have when you live in this country. Uh, so please, on Anzac Day and every other day, remember the reason that Australia is what it is, and that is because of our, our diggers and their families. So please, show some respect show some absolute respect for the people that built this country. Moving right along, yes, get a little upset when it comes to our diggers. Moving right along, I also would like to ask people that want to have distasteful comments on our social networks, do you know the really bizarre thing I find is that the tragedy of your own lives must be so deep that you feel, you feel better if you alienate or ostracise or denigrate someone else got a tip for you too write me a letter let's talk let's unravel whatever it is that seems to bring out the ugly because there's really no need for it look i was angry once hell i wasn't very very attractive either because i said exactly what i think and you might think well isn't that what you do now no trust me once upon a long time ago before i mastered the art of it i would just say exactly what i thought and care not if i offended you but see, that's what I see in the public arena today. And I kind of wince and say, it really isn't pretty. And most of all, it really isn't called for. Life's tough enough. Surviving's tough enough. Whether you've been abused or you've not been abused. It's a tough gig, just surviving today. So how about we all try some kindness? And, and maybe, just maybe, if we do that, throw in some truth mix in a dash of it's all going to be okay and who knows we just could make a difference right across the board and i think that's about all i've got in my oh my god clip no two more things i'm going to be doing a clip next week to promote and to give to you an amazing young artist i have found called shannon kennedy no relation in the blood stakes but i'm telling you what i'm not letting her go she is amazing so you look forward to that next week and I must close with, oh my God, little Dan the man turned five yesterday. I hope you had a great day, honey. So to everyone else at Fakar, have a happy week. Be good to yourselves and each other. And say hi to your kids for me. See ya.